So I think my number one priority right now has to be to continue to build structures so that we can, you know, satisfy the daily updates. But at the same time, I also would like to start moving from the like stockpile out in the open to, you know, putting them inside of our urns. As well as something that I need to kind of say right now is that I, I need to think about a time because there's going to be a moment where I'm going to need to get a second footman. Not right now. It's definitely still way too early to get a second footman. It's only uh, what day are we on? Shouldn't it say right here? That doesn't say. I, I That's strange. Well, anyways, um, it's like day four or something like that. Oh, day six. There we go. And uh, I feel like there should there should be a very clear, like, day. It should just be like, boom, crack planet, day six or whatever. Uh, armed goblin. So there's been a bunch of notifications. Uh, okay, so first of all, let's figure out, let's grab this. Oh, this is this is a trading guy. We, we I would really like a shield. Uh, that's only going to increase his defense by one, though. Hmm. Seems kind of low. Is there anything that we can sell? I know that I've had my potter work on a lot of resources, a lot of different items that uh, could be very valuable to this this trader. Uh, decorative. We need 100 golds. Are we anywhere close to that? Not really. Oh, he hasn't really got to the point where, uh, you know, I can't, I can't get it right now. Dang. All right. That's fine. And uh, this guy is coming back in three hours. All right. So we just got like three notifications. Uh, hey, Edward. Um... Edward. See, that's another thing is he, he's focused on protecting the stockpile, which is actually a little bit further than where most of our citizens are working. That will cause for some trouble when a big old, like, you know, horde of zombies comes after us. Hey, uh, okay, that was interesting. Are you gonna, what's going on here? Well, he, most of the goblins just want our items. Oh, good, he's dead. Yeah, okay, we're good now. So they're usually just gonna come chase us after um, our items here. Everything seems good. I do like the idea. Well, let's go ahead and get rid of this ladder. There's no items on the roof, which is nice, uh, of none of these buildings. So I don't have to... Hey, they still haven't finished this. Make sure you take that stuff down, man. Make sure you take that down. Uh, I think we're doing good, like I said, in terms of clay. What I might, might want to do is uh, let's go ahead and select this map mode. And I'm going to put. I'm going to go ahead and start to put down some urns. Oh, can I not? Oh, I can't. I can't fit them. There's not enough room. We would need we would need small urns. Hmm. Well, that is interesting. I'm trying to think what, what we can do with these then. I mean, I guess I could work on, you know, my underground like cave system. But then we'd be really spreading ourselves thin. No more baddies anymore. We killed the two go giant goblins. So our giant zombies, I guess I should say. Yes, yes, go do your thing. Oh, you guys are still putting in stuff like that. Okay, well, first of all, let's go ahead and place down the sixth bed. That way, pretty much everyone has a place to sleep. Uh, except for two, I guess. But, I mean, practically everybody would have a place to sleep. And let's go here. Trader returns. Uh, yes. Wait, maybe next time. <gasps> you guys didn't finish it? Are you kidding me? I didn't even know really what he was going to give us. I just wanted to... Ah, uh, he... Ah, uh, we didn't finish it. I was not even paying attention to that. I know that... Ah, uh, she's been having to build a lot of things. Okay, well, we'll just delete these for now. Hmm. Hey, what the heck? I thought I deleted this. Yeah, did I accidentally delete something else? I don't know. Anyways. Well, that's too bad. It doesn't matter. Uh-oh, we've got stone uh, golems. Yeah, stone golems here attacking four of, a, four of them. Which will be providing some more resources for our for stone, which is nice. Looks like we're doing just fine here. These are just little guys. I'm surprised there was no notification though, letting warning us uh, what was about to go down. Uh, Potter level four. Okay, is there any way he could work faster? That's that's the type of experience I want him to have. Just work faster. <laughs> that's all I want, man. Okay, did we okay we did get rid of the ladder. Good, everything's looking good over here. Let's go ahead and make our fourth house. Our fourth small house. Maybe we should build it more this way. Again, I want it to be like... I want it to look somewhat non-symmetrical. I want it to be like all over the place. Yeah, that's good too. I like the idea of them just plopping down houses. I'd love to just like have just a massive village of just houses in this corner here. Because actually this is all walled off for us. So this would be perfect. A uh, perfect little place to 
continue to build back into. But I'd like the first line of defense to be just houses and then maybe the bigger buildings uh, around in this location. That would be kind of cool, I think. Maybe. We're still doing fine with, with stockpile and stuff in our resource, you know, in terms of uh, <coughs> resources. We haven't run out of room just yet. Uh, even though I can't place down urns, I'd like to, you know, I'll probably just dig into one of these mountains here. If I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to continue to uh, construct things in this corner. So we're going to want to put our resources somewhere within these mountains. I'm thinking here would be the best. And then yeah, we'll we'll kind of carve out multiple routes to get to it. Especially cuz we've already kind of opened up this area, so I could also make an entrance here. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. But we got to wait for this building to finish. I again, net worth is what's killing me right now. I've got to get my net worth before anything else, because you know, right now we just need more. We just need more raw manpower at the moment. Part of the problem is because we did hire a lot of uh, a lot of specialist workers. That's just kind of the term I'm referring to. You know, any of the citizens that I've given a job to, as because uh, they won't mine. Three of them won't build, which is a problem. I mean, it's more of the building. Hellfire, Edward, and Julia. I get it. I get why they can't build, but I'm just saying that's that's kind of the problem right now. Um, also, we should, like I said, I'm trying to continue to get my herbalist to level up. Because we need to get to level 3 to build some of these more uh, intense potions. Buff stamina for all hearthlings for a short while. So let's go, ahead, let's go ahead and build like 5 of these. Wow, this is this costs a lot. This is gonna This is going to take 10 flowers. Okay, we can only really build 2 of these then. Hopefully that will set them over the edge. Actually, there's got to be a way. I could probably just go into... Uh, Hellfire and check. That's Julia. I like Julia's hat. I never even realized that the former the uh, the farmers now have this hat. I'm not sure if it's specific to this um, this type of village. Cause I don't think I remember. That's I don't know. I haven't been paying attention, but that that's awesome. The little hat that she's been wearing. I didn't realize that she was wearing a hat. That's cool. Anyways, um, where is where's our herbalist? Is he coming? Oh, he's probably out building things for us. Which actually, now that I think about it, I shouldn't be having him construct anything because he's one of the only he's one of the only specialist workers that we have that will actually uh, do things, construct his little houses like that. But it's fine, it's okay. I just need to keep that stuff more in mind because there could be a very you could it's probably a few things that you could do to make that more efficient. Keeping in mind which jobs can and can't do what build in terms of building and mining and stuff like that. Uh, I could see that becoming very important. Uh, so if we actually go into Hell Hellfire, we can check his experience level now. Oh, he's got a while. Willpower, because the herbalist has improved health regeneration. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, he's got a lot more time that he's going to have to invest into herbalization. I don't know if that's a word, but uh, before he gets more experience. I'm wondering if we're going to be able to see it right now, actually. I'd like to see the bar progress. Okay, so he got like, what was that, 15? 15 experience points? Out of one of those potions. That's kind of cool. But you know, he's he's a ways away. The thing is though, we're no longer uh we're no longer growing flowers, which I thought was for the best for the most part. I mean let's check our inventory. I mean how, how much how much has our footman really needed? Right now, consumable oh, he's been consuming all of it. Stamina to uh, tonic. His health will eventually go up without well, we we need to, we probably need to start with the flowers again. So Julia's gonna be very busy here. We need to start growing a few more flower crops. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. Cactus flowers. Maybe we'll do two. I don't know if she can... I hope she's going to be able to handle all this. I, I do eventually want a second farmer. I'm always like the... I think I discussed like um, sort of Stoneheart strategies. Please tell us we got it. Yes, we do. Uh, Stoneheart strategies in the first video where because of the introduction of the importance of flowers, um, you you know, I talked about how normally I traditionally like to have two to three farmers. You're looking like, yeah, you need a, absolutely three farmers uh, almost within every town, maybe even three or four because of the new, like, you know, you kind of need flowers now, which means you kind of have to grow them. So besides the food, you need flowers. So let's go ahead and name our new citizen. Uh, we will be going, this name will be Chroma FFA. Two, four, five. Okay, not bad. Okay, he's got some good health on him too. Almost at 100, so that's not bad either. Okay, let's go a little bit faster. Uh, I think after this final 
uh, building is built, I think I'll start to dig into this mountain. An armed goblin. We've got two armed goblins coming at us. How's everything going? Yeah, I'm thinking by day 10, we have to hire somebody new. Even though I really like keeping the... Oh, man, they're coming straight in after us. Uh, and usually town defense mode doesn't work as well as it as it did in the past because people don't have the morale or the 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 brave that that the braveness I guess to take on enemies. So what is this? Uh, Trader approaches. Okay, so what do you want this time? One. Uh, wait, wait, wait. If you're if you make me one cl wall cl clay lamp, we can do that. You'll give me one pot. Okay, so that's much more doable now. One wall clay lamp. Let me make sure that I make the right wall clay lamp though. Because I can see myself messing it up. Yeah, wall-mounted clay oil lamp. Oh, good. The potter's not doing anything anyways. How much more uh, clay do we have? We, we don't have much more clay, so we do have to absolutely start building soon. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, mining soon. So we're going to want to make sure that we do that. Uh, we definitely need more beds. Uh, actually, not too many more beds. Let's go with five beds. Um, and then I want to definitely make more of these tables. A lot of tables and a lot of chairs. Like 10 chairs. I want our citizens to be able to sit down when they're eating. Okay, good. So this, this building's already finished, so I'm going to already begin. Well, I should wait for them to actually complete, completely take down the, the, the scaffolding. Well, this one person's being able to do it by themselves. I think that's fine. Okay, let's go ahead and go into the mountain. And uh, let's go to the slice map mode so I can... Actually, think of a very, there we go, right there. So, yeah, we'll probably not go too deep. That'll probably be good enough. And then let's also not build too too big. I mean, this this building will, don't, I mean, this, uh, this cave system will obviously be pretty vast. But right now, uh, because of this sort of mechanic where it won't let me start to place down items until this whole thing is done, uh, I, I don't want to make it too big. I'd like to start, you know, putting the urns in and stuff like that. And then we'll build out from there later on. So I'm I'm just actually gonna stay. I'll just stay in this map mode for a little bit so that I can kind of keep an eye on, on what's going on over this way. Um, everything seems to be good here. Now what I'd like to do is put down the second bed. We have nine citizens now, so not everybody has a bed technically, but you know, I mean, it's, they're gonna alternate sleeping, so it's okay. Uh, eventually, I will be taking these beds out and putting, you know, more room in here for different people when we have enough of these uh, houses built. Okay, so good. They've they've been doing a pretty good job. Uh, I can already I already notice a pretty big difference in um, our productivity. I think that we're, we're we're able to you know build a lot faster now. Uh, Julia is going to need a second farmer now. But what's going to be more crucial is a second. Will it be a second farmer or a second footman? Uh, like I said, we are approaching. Day 10. It's day 7 right now. Pretty soon it's day 8. Um, gripes? What's going on? Derpy ho Hooves is not like, ah, uh, it looks so mean. What looks mean? Oh, they're probably, he's probably talking about the goblins that attacked us. Run, run, run. Must escape. Oh, everyone is not happy about that stuff. On repeatedly eating the same thing. This is cool that it highlights exactly what they're talking about. So we're going to need to eventually, when Julia has the opportunity to, hire her as a cook. Um, that way we can get a little bit better food going on. Sniper and Real Tom do not like the amount of a variety of food because we don't have much variety, just raw stuff, I guess. All right, and uh, let's let's place down some urns now. So we have ten built so far. We're, we're definitely gonna need more of those. And I don't need to put too much room. I could just, you know, kind of put one tile difference between them. Can I can I fit any more? No, we're gonna keep it like that. That's fine. We'll do six, and uh, also I'm going to go here, go ahead and start to make that a little bit bigger, as well as we're going to start deleting stockpiles. So this is gone. Remove this. Goblin sticks under the camp. Oh, gosh. Okay, so wait, wait, first of all, where are you going? Oh, that's that's a goblin. Whoa. This goblin is leading the charge for this Varanus Var Anus. <laughs> I don't know what it is called, but it's a very big bug. Uh, hopefully we're going to be able to be, hopefully we'll be okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and actually go into our party system and make sure that we attack the, the bug. Well, the bug is already low health. Let's go and attack the bug. Oh, you know what the bug might, is the bug already attacking the goblin? That might have happened. 
This is just a thief, so he's just going to try to steal resources from us. Uh, I believe the bug would try to kill us. I believe. So we should kill the bug soon. Yep, so he's just going to he's just going to walk on by. So that's why I wanted to kill the bug first. Uh, we've got several resources out here. Oh, and good, because he has something in his hands, he's not going to be able to fight us back. Or thieves, I don't think, traditionally do fight fight back. So that could be a thing, too. Anyways, how are we doing in our map mode here, our sliced map mode in our cave system? Things seems to be going pretty well so far. So now we can definitely put a lot more urns inside of here. One, two, so there's, go there's nine. I'll do, uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, but I guess we could do like rows of nine. Boom, boom, you know, separate them like that by two tiles when you finish like a kind of a pad of nine, I, I guess, something like that. Um, okay, we haven't even really begun to, oh, this stuff's already spoiled. Ah, yep, I didn't realize that that was going to be a problem. I knew that was a mechanic, but I, it is, that is becoming an issue. How is the other things going? So we're not eating the food as fast as... We need to be. So I'm guessing some. Who, so does this stuff just vanish, or do we throw it away? What happens? Or do people have to eat the rotten food? Because <laughs> that's not good. If that's the case, maybe people just have to eat the rotten food. I don't know. Hey, look at that! The water is coming out for some reason. The water is going further than it was before. Hmm. I don't know why. Okay. Well, I'm not going to question it. It's fine. Uh, how are we doing? There's a lot of stuff that we need to loot over here. Let's go ahead and make sure that we loot all this stuff. I I said Shift L. I swear. I I definitely clicked selected Shift L. Okay, well still let's get all this stuff. We've we've got a few resources that are just scattered all over the place. I don't like that. Okay, good. So Julia is level five now. Uh, I I believe that if we could get a cook spoon up, uh, we'll be able to hire her as a cook, which is kind of becoming a priority. Okay, we still don't have the net worth yet. So. We, after we move all this stuff out, you know what? We can keep everything here for like this for now. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and begin the, the construction of a, a, a fifth, a fifth building. And we'll go, where are we going to go? There? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Like I said, I want like eight or nine or 10 buildings. So it's just going to be all scattered all over the place. Boom, boom, boom. And, uh, that's cool. Mason's, oh, okay. Wait a second. Uh, we need a cook spoon. Who's going to sell us that? That's what I'm looking for right now. Stone things. Well, we can we can hire a mason at any point. But do we want any gold right now? That's the question. Do I want to sell anything? Oh, are these fine? These are fine. Okay, so I'm going to sell these two. Uh, I, I've meant to sell all this. So I'll sell this now. Sell, sell, sell. No, we actually need to keep that one. I almost, I almost sold the thing that that... That that dude needed. What is he? When is he coming back? He's oh, he's coming back right now. I think. Right. Yeah, he'll come back within this hour. All right. So the farmer's doing okay. We are we're definitely in a bind uh, at the moment because um, okay, good. So we're gonna get another potter's cutter. Let's so make sure we put that away. Uh, yeah, no, we're definitely gonna need to to figure out what we're gonna do. Exactly. Who are we going to hire next? I, I like having a lot of workers on hand. But uh, but we are starting to you know grow pretty vast now, nine citizens, and it's getting deeper and deeper into the game. So uh, there are more enemies coming after us. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.